You think your salad is harmless? Well, think again. Science has uncovered a terrifying truth about your vegetables. They know, they hear, they feel, and worst of all, they might be fighting back. Are you ready to question everything you've ever eaten? Because that Caesar salad, yeah, it felt that. Do plants know when they're being eaten? Well, according to studies, it turns out that yes, plants might just know when they're being devoured. They don't have eyes, ears, or a Facebook page to complain about it, but they do have some highly dramatic survival instincts. So if you thought chomping down on a burger was bad because of the cow's feelings, just wait until you hear what your innocent little vegetables are actually going through. Imagine you're a leaf. Life's good. You're soaking up the sun, photosynthesizing like a champ, just minding your own freaking business. Then suddenly, chomp! Some random herbivore, or worse, a vegetarian, rips you from your home, grinds you between their molars, and swallows you whole. Here's the kicker. Plants know when this happens. They can hear the sound of being eaten. That's right. Science has confirmed that plants detect when they're being eaten, and they, well, they don't like it one bit. But wait. Does this mean that plants feel pain? Do we owe an apology to every carrot we've ever eaten? They might not have a mouth to scream, but they do have chemical alarms, defensive maneuvers, and even vengeful little tricks. The only thing missing? A plant uprising. And honestly, that's probably next. You'd think plants would be chill since they can't run away, but no. They've got an entire survival playbook that would make even the most paranoid conspiracy theorist proud. You see, plants don't need ears to hear themselves being eaten. When scientists at the University of Missouri played the sound of a caterpillar chewing to a plant, because that's apparently a thing scientists do, guess what? The plant freaked out. It started pumping out chemicals to make itself less delicious before anything even touched it. That's right. Your salad is basically paranoid. Ever wonder why some plants taste bitter? It's because they know they're under attack and are trying to ruin your dining experience. When a plant is under attack, whether by a caterpillar, a deer, or even a pair of your pruning shears, it triggers a cascade of chemical reactions. Think of it like an internal alarm system. Some plants release volatile chemicals into the air, warning their neighbors of an impending attack. Others produce toxic compounds to make themselves less appealing to hungry predators. Oh, this is awful. Try it. You gotta try it. It's terrible. I don't wanna try it if it's terrible. Just try it! Plants can actually send out distress signals in the form of jasmonic acid, which basically translates to, Help! I'm being eaten! Save yourselves! Other nearby plants listen in and immediately start beefing up their own defenses. It's like watching a horror movie where one victim gets attacked, and the rest of the group actually prepares to fight back instead of just running into the woods like idiots. This means every time you eat a piece of lettuce, it might have died knowing its friends were watching in horror. That cucumber you just bit into, it was fighting for its life. Sleep well. Plants have figured out how to weaponize nature itself. That's why many of them produce toxins to deter herbivores. Some make their leaves taste bitter, while others go for full-on poison. Milkweed produces toxic latex, which only specialized insects like monarch caterpillars can handle. Potato plants generate solanine, a toxic compound that can be harmful even to humans in high doses. Almond trees contain cyanogenic compounds that release cyanide when eaten. When a caterpillar starts munching on them, some plants, such as corn, don't just sit there and take it. They snitch. They send out airborne chemical scent signals that attract predators of the caterpillars like wasps. These wasps lay their eggs inside the caterpillars, ultimately killing them. So to recap, plant gets eaten, plant then calls in an airstrike, caterpillar gets turned into a wasp nursery, and plant wins. This is next-level mafia-style revenge, and you thought plants were peaceful. Several species, including tomatoes and beans, release volatile organic compounds, VOCs, when under attack, essentially putting out a distress call. These chemical messages can attract the predators of herbivores, ensuring that whatever's eating the plant gets eaten itself. It's a perfect example of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Some plants have given up on the whole fighting back thing and just decided to act like they're already dead. Mimosa pudica, also called the sensitive plant, literally collapses its leaves when touched. It's like, oh no, I've been discovered. I am only a lifeless husk. Please don't eat me for I am already gone. All right, let's clear one thing up. While plants do respond to damage, they don't technically feel pain. Pain requires a brain. I only had a brain. And as far as we know, plants haven't evolved tiny screaming consciousness centers yet. Yet. 
but they do react like they're being attacked, which makes you wonder, should we feel bad? Because if we're out here worrying about cows and chickens, but meanwhile, our spinach is over here begging for mercy, well, maybe we need to rethink the whole food chain. So we've established that plants know when they're being eaten. They fight back. They call for help. They trick predators. They outsmart herbivores. Huh. This suggests that while plants might not feel pain in the traditional sense, they are aware of injury and react accordingly. Some researchers even argue that plants might have a form of proto-consciousness, meaning that while plants don't have a fully developed consciousness like animals or humans, they might possess a primitive or foundational form of awareness that allows them to interact with their environment in ways that seem intelligent or intentional and mimics learning. If plants are this aware, does that mean vegetarians and vegans should feel guilty about eating them? Yes, absolutely. Okay, just kidding. You see, unlike animals, plants expect to be eaten. Their entire reproductive strategy revolves around it. Fruits, for instance, are designed to be eaten so their seeds can be spread far and wide. That said, some would argue that ethical considerations for plant life shouldn't be completely ignored. Certain indigenous cultures already practice rituals of gratitude when harvesting plants, thereby acknowledging their role in the cycle of life. Let's all hope that one day plants don't evolve to fight back for real. Can you imagine? Your salad slapping that fork right out of your hand. That tomato you chopped up, regrowing overnight and coming for you. I'm coming to get you. Or worse, plants just going full toxic on us. No more delicious fruits and veggies. Just bitter, poison-filled greens that we can't eat. Before you eat another salad, just know. They know. And one day they might just fight back. And then what? You think cows are going to save us? They're on our list too. So next time you take a bite of a salad, just remember. It might know more than you think. Maybe it's time we start showing plants some respect. Just in case.